and I do agree on solo ambushes and the changes they're gonna be doing to that, but you know what's the thing, like a lot of people, uh, I not a lot, only a couple of people, uh, their concerns about all the monster buffs and, and the nerfs that happened uh, for the last couple of weeks, months, because it was only only monster getting buffed and teams getting nerfed the whole time. Like every every update, it was just like that, right? No team buffs or whatever. It was just one role getting stronger and one role getting weaker. And I understand that because like a lot of monsters were getting bullied and stuff. Uh, however, I think like certain monsters needed a buff, not like the whole role, because like Ward felt great. Ward felt great, feels great for the last couple of weeks, like even months. He just feels all around great. So like, so like I would change up how Werewolf works like altogether because his kit is not meant to be in this game, right? Uh, he's way too strong when there's no weapons. He's way too weak when there is weapons. So his kit is not meant to be in here. He just needs to be reworked in my opinion. Uh, Adult Master and the Fire need certain buffs. They are great. They're fun. They're great. They're engaging. They just need to be buffed. Um, Teen Roll needed to keep their kind of weapons. Those are the weapons that buy time and like a lot of fun factor from this game comes when you play Teen and you actually have weapons and play the game. So with all the Teen nerves that are happening, more and more monsters can like snowball early on and make you feel like you don't play the game at all, which means that like the teen, role, teen experience can be like quite frustrating now as well. It was way more fun like a couple weeks back, which also, you know, like pushed away some teen players from the game, which was like the case, right? Uh, because like when we were in playtest, I think the player base was more consistent because teen role was extremely, extremely engaging. So even some of those teens who would like play and wait for those 15, 20 minute lobbies would jump on monster, but that's not the case anymore because the teen role doesn't feel, you know, worth waiting for 20 minutes anymore. Before it did, in my opinion. But now it's less and less about having weapons. It's like about like one-time opportunities, which I don't like, you know, like it's, oh, I need to work my ass off to craft one or two weapons during the game. And if I don't utilize them properly, I lost the game. Before it used to be like, oh, I can get like four weapons during a match and I can like use one weapon for like five plus minutes and buy time and have fun and you know. Kite weapons over ambush weapons? I agree. I think more about this game should be uh, kite wise, buying time, you know, like your skill as a teen to not waste away a weapon, right? I think weapons should work in a way where they're easier to craft, but easier to waste at the same time. I feel like that would give you more options during the match. Like, I don't understand the streamers that, that stopped playing this game need to come back. I think streamers were the big po portion of the community, but like, you can't blame people if they're not like interested anymore, right? Uh, I feel like it's gonna succeed, right? VHS will succeed in the long run. Right now it's in a really stale position because developers are trying to figure out what to do. I, I know how frustrating, it, like I know what it looks to you guys. It, it feels like it's a simple solution. Oh, just rework this, buff this, and uh, disable this. And boom, you have a successful. And it's not that easy, dude. Because every time you do something, it might ruin a different portion of experience, right? or like different portion of the game. and that indirectly destroys the experience for some other players so it's not an easy solution it's not an easy fix uh, i think what is way more interactive because there's counterplay that doesn't involve team play uh, exactly so what i think this game should aim to to do because nobody likes the fact player free i'll just go shock shock sphere um what they need to do right now with the game is I think they need to make it more interactive and more dependent on 4v1. But at the same time, I think in every game, a team who played well should get a chance to do a 1v1 at the same time. Like, so... I heard him. Oh, I did. Yeah. Oh, God, he's running secretary. Okay, as I was saying. So, let's say... One fix that I had in mind is like how to make the game more interactive. This would also make it more possible to play against Werewolf if they want to keep him the way he is, if they don't want to uh, rework Werewolf. Lower the, the, the crafting times. I don't think crafting should be so long. Like generally, I think weapons should have less charges. Every weapon should have less charges, but the crafting time can be lower as well. So let's say, um, wait, Grave? Oh, Grieve. Is it Grieve? I'll just call you Mikke. Uh, Mikke, thank you for the follow. So imagine if 
You know how base crafting time for a weapon is 42 seconds? Make it 20. Make it 20. And make the charges of each weapon half. Because then you don't have options like... I don't know about half, but like, I don't know. Uh, let's say flamethrower again had lingering damage. Make it possible to kite, but only once, right? So if you make one single mistake with a weapon, you lose it. Then the monster can push through, right? Uh, four weapons, much, much easier to waste. Monster goes in for four we against four weapons. And he, he will, like, you know, he can waste away all of them in literally like 10 to 15 seconds if done properly, right? So I think generally the game should be focusing more on... Um, fighting on skirmishing, which is possible with lowering the crafting times and lowering the charges of every weapon. And have have multiple, like, weapons should have their role, right? Since you're, like, since they're gonna disable soul ambushes, well, there should be push weapons, there should be kite weapons, there should be zone weapons, right? Like, three of those. So, like, flamethrower, you can't nerf uh, the, the very basis of a flamethrower which makes it a kite weapon right Sheesh. it's pointless to craft yeah it is it's actually dumb how pointless it is because every other weapon does the job better now because like even flamethrower is almost impossible to like you can kite but only ward and like honest viewpoint rc over flame weapon solar flare shot but what i'm not sure what you mean pangle but i don't know about the amount because like they need to make it in a way where you can craft weapons fairly fast so the monster has only like a small window where they can you know pressure you or whatnot he's right here Bro, where is everybody? We have three weapons and I ping and they know I'm here and like they know the monster is there. I don't know why they're not nerfing the eye, for example, and they don't take any skill, but they nerf a weapon that requires skill to kite and stuff. Yeah, like to distance yourself, to kite. I agree. And I think also RC. RC should be a bit stronger as well. RC, RC, RC flyer. Because. Right now, in a 1v1, if the monster stands in a doorway, nothing you can do. You can't kill the monster. You can't outplay the monster with an RC flyer if they're smart enough. If they're just patient enough to stand in, like, you can you can go behind the corners and the RC flyer can't do shit. Problem is, I guess, hard countered by Werewolf and Ward. By Ward, sure, but Werewolf... I mean, Werewolf? Werewolf is a bit too speedy, you know? Like, sometimes, like, how often do you catch the... The Berserking Werewolf with an eye? I think that this, like, I don't think I even close the distance all that much. It's just like a bit, uh, by a tiny bit. I think Solar Flare is great, but people use it in a wrong way. In solo queue, when you're by yourself, it's not a great 1v1 weapon, and people need to stop thinking it is. It's great for your team, right? You, you, with Solar Flare, you play around your team, not for yourself. Each stigma should have 1v1 kite weapon, single use trick shot zone weapon utility. Exactly. 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 Every stigma should have, like, most importantly, every stigma should have that one one we want a weapon. What I really like about concept of lowering craft time and giving yourself a chance uh, to actually one we want the monster is like at the very end of the game, when you're in a one we want, me not having to sneak around the map and do some shady ass fucking plays just to pull off one weapon, just to get my one weapon out of my ass and then buy like 20 minutes of time with it. I think that's disgusting. First of all, because I like, it, it could be just easier if, you know, oh shit, it's not that hard to actually get that one weapon. But at the same time, I can't u utilize it for like 20 minutes to just make monster experience miserable. I think the game would be way more fast paced if the weapon crafting was faster. If the solo ambushes were not a thing, because monster wouldn't have to worry about going behind corners and stuff. He can just like go from a station to station to station. He can just like face check everything. Um, 
And on top of that, in those 1v1 scenarios, team mess, like makes one mistake, boom. Weapon is gone, they're dead. Like two minutes, three minutes. I'm on my way to you guys. Oh, he's not following. I don't know which way he's going. So yeah, change crowd speed to make teams have weapons more often and then tweak monsters to fit more in the fast pace. Exactly, exactly. Like, imagine how much more of a monster experience will be if the average length of a match was 10 to 15 minutes. That's like, I think that would be fucking fine, right? Not like, oh, we're playing a really good, ex extremely sweaty match and uh, it's, gonna end, it's gonna end up being like 30 plus minutes. You know, like long, really long matches should be 20, 20 to 25 minutes. That's like, super sweaty long match and that's like the longest you should like the longest match you should ever see is like 30 minutes and this like something that happens almost never right i was wondering around the match then random uh, dying exactly because like once they disable solo ambushes you gotta keep one thing in mind monster will be going from a station to station much much faster and that's a high highly highly risky uh play on their end because no matter how much, oh, oh, like, everybody's saying, oh, solo ambushes shouldn't be a thing, right? Yeah, they shouldn't. But you, you know how much that nerfs Teen indirectly? Because how much they can face check everything? Like, imagine, imagine monster not having that blockade, like, that thing on, on their mind. Oh, I can get ambushed. No, you can't. Go jump, run to every station. Every time. Like, you can just do that, right? Now, getting from a station to station doesn't take you 10 seconds, but it takes you 7 seconds. That's one less weapon you, get, you guys get to craft. Woo, let's go. I'm gonna cry when they nurse. I really hope they don't because I, I don't... Yeah, I mean, yeah, solar flare, it should work in a different way. I don't think it should be directly nerfed. I think it should work in a different way. I think there should be like a bigger downside to uh, placements, right? Because you can just place it, replace it, like you can just place it every time. I think there should be like a bigger downside, like how many charges. You should be losing charges every time you place it. But um, I think monster should be... Like, so let's say, let's say this way. Solar Flare should passively deplete faster, right? So, like, the monster looking at it shouldn't deplete it so fast because I feel like it goes away too easily if you forget about it. What the biggest problem is with you placing behind corners and stuff, so there should be a bigger downside to you placing the Solar Flare and keeping it in one spot, but a smaller downside of the monster looking at it. That way, it's better in fights and zoning when you need it to zone, and you can't, but, but at the same time, you can't just place it in one random spot and leave it there for like five minutes, you know? Let's prep time to make teams have more weapons more frequently than give monster a bit more tracing in base kit. Maybe mostly at the start of the match, lower monster defensive cooldowns. Since more fights and you'll need it to, uh, and finally tweak maps to give more fight zones like gym in high school and pillars in a facility that skirmish is usually happening. Oh, I like that. I really like that. I need. I think Miser should have their defensive ability more often as well. And I also think they definitely need to change uh, how per se being able to uh, in in a very skirmish based environment where you not where you won't be really playing defensive and stuff n n as neither of the roles. Uh, I mean, yeah, sure. There's gonna be games where you're gonna be playing a l at least a bit defensive and whatnot. But I still think like the monster shouldn't be able to like zone away four weapons immediately. Or, uh, again, is one f really frustrating he uh, thing will ha keep on happening is when you play against a four stack, they will just keep their distance out of the hull range and then you jump in on teens, like you speed up uh, the on three disarmed teens and boom, one person who wasn't affected just kills you. Uh, which is really frustrating for both a teen and a monster experience. If, like, you four of you get caught out every time, you can't do anything. And for monster, if you're playing against a well-coordinated well team, you will constantly get ambushed by the one person who didn't get... Um, affected by your hull so i just think that generally they need to like fix up how that power works wards armor is just a great all-around ability you know it's like a risky play it's something that you just have to pull off you know come on buddy is he not gonna engage which way did he go probably feeder 
I don't know, I'm kind of holding on to a string to stay on VHS. I, I completely understand, honestly. I understand why people are leaving, but um, I myself, look, I'm gonna be completely honest, right? Right now, the experience is kind of stale and repetitive. You constantly play around against the same people. There's still the same issues in the game, you know, with monster experience, whatnot. But I'm hopeful for the future, right? You don't have to actively play now, like... It doesn't have to happen now, like the changes and stuff. I do hope for the future, like I do think that a lot of good changes are gonna come to the game. GG. Um, yeah, I think there's gonna be a lot of good changes for the game in the future. We're just gonna have to wait a while, right? Like you don't have to, like you play something else, enjoy yourself. With every new change, you can come back, check it out if you see what, what you like. And once VHS is in a good spot, I really do believe this game is gonna like pop off. It's gonna take off. Right now it can't, right? Because we still have those issues that are preventing people from having fun at certain times and certain roles. It just, it's gonna take time, right? Like, it might take half a year, might take a whole year, might take two years, but I really am hopeful as to what, like, uh, what's gonna happen with this game. Same people, same game playing. Uh, yeah, as we already, it's not just about people. Like, you would definitely experience different play styles if you played against different people, but I feel like the gameplay right now is a bit stale because of like, those changes not happening soon enough. Uh, it's gonna get spicy, right? For teen, it's still really interesting, but like for monster, it's very, very similar, and that's why I think not only like doing those changes where the game is more fast-paced and more dynamic, but also some more interactions from the monster. It doesn't have to be too much. I also thought about one thing. I don't know if this is gonna sound dumb to you, but I don't think rift should be a thing for teen anyway, right? Um, there is enough information for you around the map, like, you just walking around the map, sooner or later you will know where the monster is because they can't hide their presence from you forever. So Rift shouldn't be a teen thing, it should be a monster thing only, it should spawn more often, right? Like, so, um, let's say if you go for a Rift, if you go for Rifts, that's less time you spend pushing them on the crafting stations, which means teens will automatically have more weapons throughout the game, right? Like, on average, you're gonna have more weapons, be, have more time to craft weapons and be less afraid to craft them because the monsters will be taking rifts to, so they can play safer as well. If you know where all four teens are visually, uh, you will be able to play safer and, like, uh, you don't, you won't have to make, like, so many mistakes during the fuck during the fights so wall hacks for monster side is not that bit not, not a bad idea like how often as a team do you actually go for the rifts plus we have that dread dreadful challenge for team that you constantly have to uh, take rifts even though it's almost impossible because the monster controls the rift, like you know usually who takes the rift either they die or they take the rift it's like usually one of those two because the monster won't like just stand on the sides and like do nothing while you take the rift. Would you consider making a little discussion video about crafting le lesson and things? I agree, but disagree since I like fighting for the rift, but I hate the, ch hate the challenge. Uh, uh, yeah, but you would still have to fight him for the rift. That's the thing. You never stop because the monster now has a bonus. He has a wall hack. You don't just let him take it. Now, if you have weapons, this takes teens out of their hiding spot and draws them to the rift which you will now be able to hear or whatever because the solo ambushes are not a thing and when a weapon approaches and you're not in a chase it's gonna be like whatever like whatever they decide on because the solo ambushes are not a thing you will be able to hear them approaching and now you guys skirmish on the rift right because you want to prevent them ta taking from it also make different kinds of rifts one is for wall hacks one is for cooldowns one is for rage alone it doesn't have to be like double it doesn't have to be super rift i think it can be like a lot of like I just generally think that that would be great. Yeah, it, it, it doesn't take that long to spawn. Like, if it's only for a monster, it will be random. But, like, let's say you don't see a teen for, like, 30, 40 seconds. Boom, Rift spawns in a random spot. And now you can go take the Rift, give teens, like, they get, get come out of hiding. They go fight you. The rest can craft weapons freely. And it immediately becomes more skirmish-based. It's not about monster constantly having to look around, for, uh, around the map to find teens. They will come to you now. And on top of that, teen role will not be as frustrating because now you have more time to craft weapons and it's gonna be less about monster catching you off guard when you don't have a weapon and more about like them skirmishing with you when you have a weapon. So I think that generally would work better.